<clears throat> what do we got here? What do we got here? Let's see. We got some ground bison raised without antibiotics or hormones. Okay. It's the real deal here. We got some uh, sweet pepper. We got a uh, jalapeno, of course. We got some beef bacon, okay? Breakfast beef, as they call it. We got some red onion, uh, cherry tomatoes, little uh, spring mix lettuce. We got some potato roll, AKA sandwich rolls. Kojadil dill pickles, mayonnaise, A1 steak sauce, kosher sea salt, Black peppercorns, minced garlic, some fresh thyme, and rosemary. What do we got here? What do we got here? You guessed it. We have a banging beef, bacon, bison burger. Mm. Once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet. That's Chef Cabernet to you. And welcome to another episode of... Cab Cabernet's Dine of the Day. And welcome to Chateau de Cabernet. I guarantee you, Chef Cabernet is the only chef that has ever prepared this meal quite like this. So after this meal's done, you can say you've seen it all. Almost. Stay tuned. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Mr. Cabernet. Mr. Cabernet. Mr. Cabernet. So, what is a beef, bacon, bison burger? Okay? I don't know if you guys uh, grew up watching the Cosby show. I did. Okay? Everybody did. Um, they, there was something that Theo liked to eat. It's like his favorite meal on the show was the bacon burger dog. Okay? Um... So this might remind you just, you know, the, the, the combinations, but there's no hot dogs here. This is the beef bacon bison burger. Now, what is bison, first of all? Well, a bison is basically a buffalo, okay? Uh, why am I eating bison burgers? Well, because bison is a lot leaner than beef, than cow, and it's... It's also, uh, it's, it's higher in protein, and I'm on my protein right now. But this is 90% lean, 10% fat. It's very lean. It's uh, very high in protein. Um, but again, like everything at Chateau de Cabernet's, um, I do a twist on everything. Uh, it's just about how I'm feeling. I just came up with this meal, you know, earlier this evening. Uh, I'm excited, uh, and you're never you're never gonna see this anywhere else. So um, pay attention, because you can do this too. You just can't do it like me. So let's get this cast iron skillet hot, okay? Yeah, because we we're gonna we're gonna really put this to work. Hope you guys like my new cast iron pot. We're going we're gonna to really get into this on another dish. You know, maybe some outdoor cooking. But that's for another day. Let me prep the, the, the meat, and I'll be back in about five. Stay tuned. Crushed grapes is a lifestyle. The lifestyle of enjoying life. Many of us aspire to this lifestyle. This is our standard. If you have a passion for wine, cigars, music, fashion, art, business, pleasure, or leisure, you are part of the lifestyle consumer community. Crushed Grapes Lifestyle, Harlem, USA, by Cab Cabernet. Okay, this is going to be very special. Because I'm going to show y'all how to do the bison burger. We're going to make a... Uh, we're going to make a homemade uh, uh, spread for it, okay? 
uh, with the mustard, I'm sorry, with the mayonnaise, A1 steak sauce, uh, koja dill pickles. Maybe we'll do a little ketchup in there too. Why not? Yeah, why not? Okay, just to uh, make it right, right? That's gonna be the spread. So first things first, we wanna make the filling for the burger. That's what we wanna do. This is not just gonna be a, a, a just burger meat, okay? Like we're gonna put onions, we're gonna put some minced garlic, we're gonna put some sweet pepper and tomatoes chopped up inside the burger for ultra flavor, okay? And then after we're, after the burger, after this is all inside the burger, right? We're gonna cook up this uh, beef bacon and we're gonna top the burger with the bacon and of course a slice of cheese or some type of cheese in there. And I gotta check the fridge and see what we got. But yeah, that's enough red onions. We're gonna take these, throw them right on top of there, okay? We don't need you. Okay, throw them right on top of there. We're gonna make two burgers. I might have some company coming through, okay? So, Okay, here's the here's the onions. It's a good help in the red onion going in the bison. Okay, this is gonna be a chunky burger. Okay, let's do this pepper. We're just gonna do not too much of the sweet pepper. Just enough so you can feel it. You know what I mean? I think that's enough. I love these uh it's like a burgundy red onion. Oh man, so floral. And this onion's about to make me cry. We try not to. So we got the burgundy, red, sweet peppers, the red onions, and let's get a little garlic. We're gonna season this to death. Nice help in the garlic, minced garlic, right? Again. Never have too much garlic in my opinion. Put the thyme in it, the rosemary in it, ooh, wee. Dill pickles on it. Man, this is gonna be so incredible. I can't wait to eat this. I'm gonna tell you the truth, I'm geeked. <laughs> I'm geeked. Like a child. Kidding the candy store. Alright, these pickles are gonna be for the spread. So I'm just doing these right now to get them out the way. This is for the spread. Spread is gonna mix all these together. Slice and chop them all together. That's right. Get that out of here. They all look alike, right? The dill pickle and the jalapeno, but we all know, we all know the difference. We want this to be as fine as possible, okay? And then we're gonna put this to the side. We'll come back to that, okay? Right now, What's left to season this uh, meat? We have some thyme, some fresh thyme. Yes, indeed, and some fresh rosemary. Oh yes, that will do. And uh, what we're gonna do with the with the with the thyme? You just pull it off. Okay, just pull it off. Pull it off right into the into the meat. Get rid of these stems. Take another little uh, another stem of this. Thyme is um, thyme and rosemary are very floral herbs. Um, 
And rosemary is gonna have to be chopped. But this is what gives it that extra oomph. You dig what I'm saying? Like the rosemary and thyme. This is gonna set it, this is gonna bring it to a whole nother level. I guarantee you, you're not gonna go to any restaurant, okay, that is, is going to have a menu with the beef bacon bison burger. I guarantee you, I guarantee it. Matter of fact, if you find a, 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 that on somebody's menu, okay, anywhere in the US of A, I'll cook you a meal. At Chateau de Cabernet's on the house. Matter of fact, I'll come to your crib. I'll come to you. You know, within reason. Within a reasonable distance. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, 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 don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. Now, now we need some peppercorns. Okay? I love these peppercorns because they're multiple different types of Peppers. You got white, green, red, black. You know. Again, it's got to be fresh. Ground pepper. I don't do the powdered pepper. Fresh ground. And also, fresh sea salt. You see that? Can't beat that with a bat. I'm telling you right now. Can't beat it. Yeah. A little more. Okay. That'll do. Now, we take this like so, right? And we just mush it, smush it, smash it, gush it. You see what I'm saying? We want to work this all, all inside the meat. Until it's all, it's just it's one big meat bowl of flavor. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be incredible, okay? Incredible. And um, I feel sorry that uh, you couldn't all join me. I really do. But it just started raining out. Perfect night. So I'm really doing, you know, I, I think what, what had me thinking about this burger is, you know, it's, it's spring. And uh, my new spot got a porch. So, got a grill out there thinking about barbecuing. So, I'm probably going to be doing some, you know, outdoor shows as well. But think about barbecue. So, here we go. This right here is the burger. My goodness gracious. That's the burger. Okay, now, what we're going to do now, let's throw this right into the pan, just like this. Do little olive oil, this pan is nice and hot, all ready, let's take our first patty. Good. Now, my hands real quick. Beef bacon, if you've never had it, you should try it. Um, much better than pork. It's delicious, okay? Beef bacon, man, just think of steak, but bacon, like a bacon steak. Like a bacon beef steak. That's what beef bacon tastes like. So let me throw this in. And I'll be back in about five. Stay tuned. Check, check, check one, two. <laughs> My money right. One, two, one, two. That's Hunter's bottom line. Yo, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet from Harlem, USA. And if you don't know by now, <laughs> Crush grapes is a lifestyle. This is a song about the hustler. You know, those who provide for the customer. No 
word is born, and so they trust in ya. You got what they need, so they fuck with ya. First, your friend had a binge, you was your friend's driver. Tonight, you aspire to be your Benz driver. Now, you got a Benz, now you a Benz driver. But still, you aspire to be your Rolls driver. Now, you got a Rolls, now you a Rolls driver. But now you're the Porsche, you got your own driver. You stay on the grind and you never retire till you acquire whatever your heart's desire. The burger, the bison burger, getting busy in this cast iron. We got the uh, beef bacon getting busy. Now we're gonna get back over here to this spread, okay? Now, this spread, get us a bowl. We're gonna take uh, our jalapeno peppers and pickles, throw them in the bowl for the spread. This is what we're gonna spread on top of the burger, okay? Ketchup, okay? Yeah, some A1. Uh-huh, could be the last of that. Yeah, and some mayo. Yeah. Okay. Mix this all together. See that? See that? Yeah. <laughs> you better believe it. That is the special sauce. My baby. That's the special sauce, kids. You can see the meat's basically done. We're gonna take this meat off and we're gonna plate. I'll be back in five minutes. Stay tuned. You can't reach me. got the meat right here we got the beef bacon charred to perfection the burger we got a little four cheese mexican blend this is going to melt right on top of there we're going to take a little bit of this spread put this spread right here this is the dill pickles jalapeno peppers ketchup a1 sauce and mayonnaise. Can't forget the lettuce. Okay. Just like that. Okay. What are we missing? You know what we're missing? Jalapeno potato chips. Why not? Mmm. Unbelievable. Mmm. I'm about to get busy. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Cab Cabernet's Dine of the Day. I am Cab Cabernet. That is Chef Cabernet to you. And remember, living well is eating well. Bon appetit. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet.